I'm really excited to show you some of my favorite new features in Photoshop. Let's get started. Making selections is a big part of using Photoshop. And you might go back to the days of using the magic wand tool where you click and it selects based on colors. Last year, we introduced the amazing object selection tool. And this year, we're making it even better. So if I take the object selection tool and you drag around an object, it will just basically make that selection for you. However, you'll notice that when I deselect and I just simply hover over the objects, it identifies them and all I have to do is simply click. If I wanna to add to that selection, I can hold down the shift key and click. And if I want to subtract from that selection, if I hold down my option or alt key, for example, I can subtract the flame. Now that I got the flame subtracted, the next thing that I wanna do is adjust the color of these candles. So I'll head over to my layers panel where I've got the ability to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, like that. Now that's great, but wait, there's more. If I go to the original background and I right click, I get a new option called mask all objects. So when I click on that, it will calculate and figure out all the objects in the scene as if I had gone through them one by one with the object selection tool and clicked on them. And it generates all these masks for me in the layers panel, saving me time. And that's gonna be a great addition for any Photoshop user, the new auto masking in the object selection tool. Next up, let's head over to one of my near and dear favorites for people that work with Illustrator. I've got an empty canvas here, and I've got an Illustrator file created by artist Victoria Pavlov, and you'll notice that she made lots of layers in this file. So I'll just drag my selection tool around everything, and I'll just do a copy. Now when I head over to Photoshop, and I do a paste, I get something new. I get the option to bring it in as layers. So when I click OK, it brings over all my layers from Illustrator, nicely organized in layer groups. And if I go to, for example, the vase layer, and I go to my direct selection tool here in Photoshop and double click, I even get the ability to edit the vector shapes that it creates. So I don't have to go back to Illustrator to do it. So that's the new interoperability between Illustrator and Photoshop, which would be great for anyone doing design work between the two. Now, last year we made a big deal about AI-based neural filters. And this year we're taking it up a notch with not only new filters, but improvements as well. I've got this landscape that's kind of barren in the foreground. I wish it were a little more green. So if I go to my neural filters, I've got a new neural filter called Landscape Mixer. And when I click on Landscape Mixer, it gives me choices. I can use one of the preset photos, great. I can click on custom and use one of my own photos. And I even have season sliders at the bottom. So I see a nice green photo in the presets. I'll just click on it and it takes my photo and calculates and adds all that greenery into it. And that's great. But wait a minute, it's fall. I don't need it to be this summer look. Well, now I can just drag autumn over, I would say in the 30 to 40% range and it will calculate what's there and give me those fall colors on my scene. All right, next up, my personal favorite, my mom and dad. <laughs> a black and white picture, an old picture of my mom and dad, and I would love to colorize this. I've spent hours, weeks, months colorizing old photos before. Well, now if I go to neural filters, I get the option to choose the new improved colorized neural filter, which figures out skin tones. It's better for portraits now than it ever was. So just with one click, I get a great head start to my colorization process, or it might even be the final result. Either way, I've got a layer to continue working on if I wanna do more. Now, Colorize isn't just for people, it also works great for landscapes. If I go into this landscape, for example, and I go to my filter menu, come down to Neural Filters, and go to Colorize, it will, again, identify everything in the scene and apply colors to it. But in this case, it guessed a little wrong in the sky. I don't like that brown color in the sky. So all I have to do is use the new feature in the right-hand corner for focal points, and I can click in the sky, and up comes a color panel, allowing me to choose what color that area of the sky should be. So I just choose the color that I want, and it instantly changes the sky to that color. And those are just a few of my favorite features in Photoshop. Be sure to check out my breakout session where I go through a lot more. Cheers, everyone.